<clears throat> My topic under this uh, theme for today, uh, unity and peace, I have a topic from that which reads, we are one, the world is one, God is one. And I've broken it down into the three sectors. We are one. We believe that we have a soul. Our soul is the living Atma within us. Atma is also the soul. It is the soul within us. It has no identity from sex, religion, caste or creed. It is nurtured by our actions, beliefs and everything else we do. Sometimes we say things like, when we talk about another person, uh, we say that person has got a good soul and not that person is good, right? So it's all about the soul. We do not need to differentiate each other because of our race, religion or any other form. We are one, the human race. The world is one. Humans have evolved over time from thousands of years ago into what we are today, the human race. Over time, at some stages, different religions also has been evolving together with the human race. We were brought up by our parents who inculcated religion into us. Right? It wasn't something that we are born with. It's something given to us by our parents and our teachers. It was according to their beliefs. Right? We're supposed to make our own decisions with the religious beliefs. Just like in our career that we choose, we go to school, we are taught things and then we are given the opportunity to choose our career. How many of us have been given the opportunity to choose our religion at this time? Some of us do choose our religion in time, but not all. And it hasn't been mandatory, like education. It hasn't, there's no mandatory uh, teachings that we must choose this religion or that. It, it's, it's, like given, it's a given choice from your parents and others in our community. Next, God is one. With these factors I just mentioned, why do we have differences with each other living on planet Earth? Warfare is all around us and has been initiated by a fight for, um, namely political power, religious, religious beliefs and wealth. We can make a difference by having peace within us as humans and it is respecting and by respecting all humans irrespective of the culture, cultural beliefs in religion and wealth etc. Hinduism is the world's oldest religion according to many scholars with roots and customs dating back more than 4,000 years. But this does not mean that Hinduism should be the only faith. Each religion has chosen a path together it is, as it is guided by holy books and idols or symbols and prophets referred to as God. We refer all these idols and, and, um, uh, idols and prophets as our gods, no matter which, whoever you call God. It sometimes gets misunderstood as God. We, we misunderstand these symbols, these idol, idols and uh, prophets as God. Instead of as messengers of God. So we, we should identify them as rather messages of God, messengers of God. Hinduism is actually a way of life, apart from it being just a religion. It's a way of life and it is guided solely guided by the scriptures. Saints, sages, sadhus, you must have heard of a lot of them, and, and people at large. 
They are all messengers of God in different era in the evolution of mankind. Our practices include the popular religious literature such as, as I'm talking about in Hinduism, our practices include the popular religious literature such as the epics in the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. Right? These are all uh, stories that we, uh, we use today from those years. We use those stories to have a better life and to understand um, our religion or our beliefs. In terms of the unity of mankind, we all come from the same original source, the Supreme Lord. We are all spiritual sparks emanating from the Supreme Source. As we, are, as we all share the same origin, we are equal to each other at the most basic level, our spiritual selves. The physical differences being our outer bod bodily coverings and the designations we give other as a result of this, such as you are European, I am, uh, I am uh, Indian, etc. We, we, we give our, our own identities to each other. We are wholly dependent on the Lord for survival as He is the source of provision for all our needs such as air, water, sunlight and the basic, uh, basic levels. Even our talents issue from the Lord as the law of karma, a very common law, law of karma. Therefore, we refer to it as God-given talents. Our thanks, I must say at the end of this, our thanks go to um, Sarvin, um, Sarvin and her uh, organization for helping us uh, to represent the Hinduism in this platform. And um, with this, I want to say uh, thank you and wish you all well for this World Religious Day event. Thank you very much.